Why is the Tokarev referred to as the Russian 1911? And yes, this is a Yugo, I don't care. Well, first of all, you gotta admit, they look pretty similar. Both are steel framed. Both have exposed hammers. Both the magazine releases and the slide releases are in about the same place and look very similar. Both have steel single stack magazines. The Tokarev is referred to as the Russian 1911 because it looks a whole heck of a lot like one, has a whole lot of similar features, although there are a lot of differences too. Why is the Tokarev referred to as the Russian 1911? And yes, this is a Yugo, I don't care. Well, first of all, you gotta admit, they look pretty similar. in school, Kenny. And it has a picture of him and you in a little airplane. Oh, isn't that nice? You've got lots of friends, don't you, Kenny? No, I'm not that strong. Stan? Oh, well, no, there's nothing here from Stan, but, well, Stan's gonna come see you real soon, I bet, Kenny. I hope so. Hey, look who's here. Stan? Hello, Kenny. I'm Laura Jones, and this is Bob Farron. We're with the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Oh, Kenny, isn't that nice? We travel the country giving special little boys so whenever I make videos talking about bolt action rifles and their semi-automatic counterparts that they've- I knew 1.20 was going to be something more than just a camel. Okay, so you've probably heard by now because literally everyone is making a video on it, but Armour now has this really cool customization feature with armor trimming. Now, I won't cover how it works because there are definitely other videos out there on how to do it, but I do have a very important note we all need to know. Netherite armor is now a hundred times harder to get, which personally, I actually really like. Basically, they made it so you need a specific item, the netherite upgrade smithing template, as well as the netherite ingot and the piece of armor you're upgrading. Put it all in a smithing table and it gets upgraded, but the armor trim item gets consumed and the only way to find it is in a specific type of bastion, the treasure room. However, you can clone this template item, but it requires more diamonds and the armor trim itself. So basically, you have to explore a bastion and find a lot more diamonds now for full netherite armor, which does balance out netherite armor a lot more as it is super OP. I knew 1.20 was going to be something more than just- Everyone on the floor! Now, get on the floor! Open the door! Open it! Don't bother. I said floor, bitch! They always empty out the drawer in the morning shift change. I need- Everyone on the floor! Now, get on the floor! Open the door! Open it! Don't bother. They always empty out the drawer in the morning shift change. Give me your purse. I'm not gonna do that. Because the manager over there has already hit the panic button. So when you try to grab this, I'm obviously gonna stall. Cops will already be here. You wanna die? Kind of.
Everyone on the floor! Hey buddy, you ever played catch before? Catch! What? <laughs> Good catch, stupid. Hey buddy! <laughs> Fucking bitch! I'm coming for you! <laughs> Ooh, I'm scared, Johnny. Hey, buddy, you go. I thought jumping spiders couldn't move their eyes. As in, I thought the eyes were just tiny circles. But I realized I was wrong after looking at a jumping spider under the microscope. Have a look at this. This jumping spider is really small, but it is thin enough for us to see the eyes through the head. Look carefully. It turns out that the eyes are actually cones that extend into the head of the spider. They are constantly moving side to side, and they appear to focus in and out like tiny telescopes. And this actually makes a lot of sense, because jumping spiders have incredible depth perception. They can accurately measure the distance of a jump. And in a really interesting way, the eye movements helps the spider perform math calculations in its head. It's crazy to think that this tiny creature is probably better at maths than you or I. Maybe the spider can do my math homework. I thought jumping spiders couldn't move their eyes. As in, I thought the eyes were just tiny circles. But I realized I was wrong after looking at a jumping spider under the microscope. Have a look at this. This jumping spider is really small, but it is thin enough for us to see the eyes through the head. Look carefully. It turns out that the eyes are actually cones that extend into the head of the spider. They are constantly moving. In 2013, the LAPD received an alert that the panic button had been pressed at a nearby building, indicating that an armed intruder was inside. When officers rushed over, they immediately saw this man with a gun staring at them through the window on the second floor. They all quickly ducked inside the building to shield themselves, and although they were terrified, they were ready to do their jobs, so they made their way upstairs. Suddenly, there was the man right in front of them, with his back turned to them, and after an extremely tense moment, with every gun in the room trained on the guy, the officers began laughing. You see, the building they had entered was actually the office of a video game studio called Robotaki, which had only just gotten this panic button installed a day ago. Since the button was so new, in the words of the founder of the studio, one of our designers pressed it on its way out, because apparently when boys find buttons that they are unsure of, their first instinct is to push it. And then after these employees left and the police showed up, what they had originally thought was an armed man was actually just the office's life-size statue of Ghost from Call of Duty. For a brief moment, LEPD got into a standoff with Ghost. The officers didn't find anyone, and just played video games with the employees instead. In 2013, the LAPD received an alert that the panic button had been pressed at a nearby building, indicating that an armed intruder was inside. When officers rushed over, they immediately saw this man with a gun staring at them through the window on the second floor. Oh shit, guys, this is gonna be so fire. On God, bro, I seriously can't wait. I don't know about this one, fellas. What do you mean, Joe? What I mean is that we really should have gone on the Looney Tunes ride. Damn it, Joe, that shit's a kid's ride. Though now that I think about it, you of all people would love that. Screw you, Donald. The only reason why we didn't go on that one is because your fat ass couldn't fit into the fucking cart. Well, either way, it's too late, Joe. You're just gonna have to try and enjoy this one. Oh shit, here we go, guys. Fuck me. Hell yeah, boys. We're so high up. I can see Trump Tower from here, dog. This is gonna be great. Biden, let go of my arm, dude. Here we go, guys. Hell yeah. Fuck, fuck, Biden, fuck. Biden, let go, dude. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Whoa! I can't, I can't do this. This is so great. No way, fuck this shit, bro. Joe, let go of my cock, dude. The fuck you two doing? Obama, help. Biden won't let go of my cock. Damn it, Joe. Let go of Trump's cock. Oh shit, sorry, guy. My eyes are closed. Can't tell what these hands be grabbing. You guys, we're going so fast. For real, bro. We're going faster than the spread of COVID. That's fucked up, Donald. Oh shit, guys. This is gonna be so fire. On All the time.